Hi guys, welcome to this unboxing video for the 14-inch MacBook Pro with an M2 Pro CPU. Now I do have to say, unlike most of my other unboxing videos that are Apple related, this is not a maxed out MacBook Pro. So this is like the bare minimum MacBook Pro for the 14-inch uh, M2 Pro. And this retails normally at 15,999 Hong Kong dollars. My previous MacBook Pro I bought three years ago. That was my last Intel MacBook Pro, and now we are on the Apple Silicon. Now, let's uh, take a look at the box. So that's the front part. Yep, it is a MacBook Pro. Let's, uh, got the Apple logo, of course. MacBook Pro, let's look at the back. So yep, 16 gigabytes unified memory. So it's the bare minimum, 512 gigabytes SSD. It's a bit of a uh, change to like I'm used to like buying two terabyte eight terabytes mainly for Dropbox and all the videos that I do so this is just as I've said bare basics okay 14 inch and it's got model numbers and all these other bits and bobs now let's open this so what do we do we just take this pull that and pull that I haven't done an unboxing video for a long time so forgive me if I'm a little rusty We'll, uh, let's open this up and see what we get. All right. So let's uh, take this out. So we've got ourselves a MacBook Pro. We'll uh, take the wrapping off in just a moment. Just put that aside for now. So what have we got? We've got some wires. So let's see. Oops, sorry. Got some wires. Ooh, it's got a nice uh, texture to it. Oh, let's take a look. Just uh, increase the focus somewhat. That's your MagSafe. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Because, you know, previously I'm so used to getting all those uh, USB Type-C adapters. Sorry, uh, USB Type-C uh, wires. And uh, it's been a while since I've seen a MagSafe. <laughs> I'm, I'm really lousy when it comes to taking this all off. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Just, ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, there you go. Just toss that aside. So there's the wire. Okay, that's the MagSafe. USB Type-C on the other, other end. Now, uh, just put that there. What else have we got? Let's just, just got to fix the focus a bit. All right, let's... Let's have a look at this. Yep, designed by Apple in California. So let's take this all out. Oh, yep, MacBook Pro. Instructions and so forth in different languages. Just want to make sure I, uh, when I take something out, I don't want to wreck this thing. So yep, two logos. And I'm not sure what else is in there. Anyway, that's it. So. Let's uh, take these and put these aside because we want to get to the actual MacBook Pro. Oh, sorry, completely forgot about the adapter. So, uh, because we're in Hong Kong, we use the UK plug. So there's that and also the adapter, which looks like this. Okay, it should be 67 watt. It's a 67 watt adapter. Now I've got to take the wrapping off, so hang on just a moment. Let's get this off. So we've got that. Yep, it's all out, it's all off. And we would just take this and put the two together. Hang on, it's still a bit of wrapping on it. Let's get it all off. And there we go. Just jam it in like that, and then we plug that to the wall and take one end of the MagSafe. We won't plug this into the MacBook just yet, and then just plug that in there, and then that just jams into the wall, and uh, the other end goes into the, the MacBook. All right, let's just put that there for now. We're gonna just uh, do away with this box, and uh, we'll, we'll put that there. Okay, and then let's get to the MacBook. Okay, so let's take this off. Let's unwrap this. Ooh, 
MacBook Pro. Yeah. Right, hang about. Let's put that to the side. And I'll tell you what, I'll put this to the side as well and we'll, uh, we'll take it out in just a moment. Yeah, okay, so let's, let's take a look, MacBook. Right, so we've got our MacBook, so let's have a look at the ports. So what have we got? We've got the uh, SDXC, USB Type-C, or Thunderbolt 4. We've got HDMI, that is really useful, no need for the dongle. And we've also got two, right, Thunderbolt 4, headphone jack, and that's the MagSafe. Now, just for intents and purposes, Ooh, yeah, it's nice, nice. Always have that habit of doing that with the MagSafe. So in case someone's walking past, when somebody walks past and they snag that cable, it won't throw your MacBook to the floor, theoretically. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's a little thick at the top, but I like it that way. Anyway, so we're going to open this thing. Ooh, nice. Oh, and it turns on. Well, let's get that MagSafe connector plugged in. And I'm going to plug this to the wall. You can't actually see me plugging it into the wall. I've got to remove the... I'm going to remove this as well. So let's get that off. Hang on. How do we do that? Aha, oh, oh, it's very thin. So let's take the, uh, this off and uh, it's actually, it's on obviously. So I'm gonna plug this into the socket, which you can't actually see, but it is on. Now I'm going to move the camera slightly lower. So we'll be back in a moment. The adapter's plugged in to the MagSafe and this is how the keyboard looks. I'm not used to not seeing the touch bar at the top. I guess Apple thought it wasn't really taking off, so they got rid of it. And uh, it's been like that for a while now. So that's the keyboard. And uh, there's actually a bit for Touch ID as well. So I could use my thumbprint there, which I'll configure at some point in the future. Anyway, let's get started. So, yep, we're going to choose English. So I'm using my left hand and I'm not using a mouse. So, Oh, I'll just use my right hand, what the heck. Right, English. And select my country or region. Yep, so my region is Hong Kong. So go to the H. And let's continue. Yep, the usual, oh, sorry. Press back by mistake. Let's go again. Uh, accessibility, not now. All right, so we're gonna select my Wi-Fi network. Okay, yep, that's absolutely fine. Got quite a few of these. Okay, hang on. So just type that. Hmm. Yeah, let's give that. Ah, okay. It was just a bit slow, that's all. So we're just loading up. What's it say? Oh, hang on. Oh, maybe I typed it wrong. Hang on. I might have typoed that. Oh, hang on. Let's give that a try again. Yeah, it's a little bit slow. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Data and privacy, continue. Migration assistant. Uh, I No, we don't need to do migration because I still have my 2020 MacBook, which I want to retain. I don't want to migrate anything. All right, so. My email address is public knowledge. Okay. 
but my password isn't, so bear with me. Alright, there we go. Okay, so got to authenticate. Yep, the T's and C's. So oh, just can't use my left hand. Okay, agree. Yep, that's fine. Oh, hang on, hang on. What's going on? I mean, this is all security stuff, which I can understand. Let me see. Right, we've just got to wait and see what happens. So just bear with us for a moment, please. Thanks. Okay, here we go. It says create a computer account. So, yep, Paul Marriott, that's me. And then just, uh, I guess, put in my password. and continue. We'll sort out the photo later. So it's creating the account. Can I do FN, F1 and F2? Oh, I can increase the uh, brightness. So press F1 and F2, all these brightness keys. Yep, you can make it dark. You can make it light now, it's setting up the iCloud. So relatively simple stuff. Usually when you buy a Mac, it's quite easy to set up. It's all wizard driven stuff, so it's nothing too uh, complicated. The snag, I think, with this computer, even though the value was quite good, uh, it's only 512 gigabytes. So anything that I had on Dropbox, I'm not able to download everything to the hard drive. So I've got to use the cloud. So some of the most important files I will download to the hard drive and everything else will be on the cloud. And you just download whatever you need on a, a basis when you actually need it. So you don't have to download everything from your Dropbox and what have you onto your computer. You just, just have to be selective. But as we know, if you want to go from 512 gigabytes to two terabytes for this one, two terabytes is the maximum for this particular model, you have to pay a considerable amount. With the 15 inch and the 16 inch and all those, um, if you want eight terabytes, it's going to cost you as much as, um, you know, it, it would cost to buy a new computer. So in Hong Kong dollars, you're looking at 16,500 extra and I'm, I'm not joking, but you, you should know that by now. Okay. Anyway, uh, yep. Continue, continue the usual stuff. Yep. Um, I will just, no, I'm not going to bother with that. Yep. Okay. We'll uh, do the touch ID. So I've got to place my finger right there so I can do my thumb at some point but I'm just going to use my finger so my right thing my right index finger yep that's good oh hang on not quite done there we go it says touch ID is ready there's also Apple pay <gasps> Ooh, my credit cards Wow. I'll do that later, actually. There we go. Wow, I have to say that screen looks extremely bright. That is an amazing screen and I'm just going to uh, just zoom in a bit. That does look good. That really does look good. Wow, that does look nice. And um, if I just go to the system settings, I try to film this in 4K, so hopefully you'll be able to read. You'll be able to read what's on the screen if you uh, set the resolution to 4K. So light, dark, auto. I tend to use light. That's just my preference. And hang on, let's go to the finder. I want to put my hard disks and my connected server. So I can see Macintosh HD. Also, I want to set up the um, accessibility. Oh, no, hang on. Go 
to system settings. Accessibility, this one. All right, I want to set up the zoom. So keyboard shortcut. And let me see. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, that's what I want. Right, yeah, so if I hold control and then uh, use two fingers, I can zoom in and zoom out. Yeah, that really does help. Okay, now I want to go to displays. Sorry, I'm still not used to the Ventura, you know, this new... Uh, menu system, uh, this whole window system. They've rearranged everything. I'm still not used to it. All right, yep, there you go. Apple XDR display, but the great thing about the zoom, you know, I can uh, show you like that. So much easier. Apple XDR display, P3, 1,600 nits. A ProMotion display. That's great because most, if not all, of the MacBooks and the Macs that I've used, they're all 60 hertz. But ProMotion can go beyond that, so it's going to be a whole lot smoother. Uh, conventionally, it's 60 or 59.94 hertz, you know, so the, number, the, the greater the cycles, the smoother the screen becomes. And it's very, very noticeable, especially when you're moving your mouse cursor. Yeah, I can change the uh, resolution just by doing that, as is the case with any Mac OS system. All right, I just want to go to the About This Mac. So if I go to About This Mac, let's just have a look for the intents and purposes. So, yep, MacBook Pro, 14-inch, 2023, Apple M2 Pro, 16 gigabytes, Ventura, 13.2.1. And if I go to More Info, yep, we can see all the specs in all its splendor. Yep, serial numbers, all this stuff. Oh, 14-inch Retina XDR display. And we've got that much storage left on the computer. All right, I'm going to have to end it there, guys. That's the unboxing and a very, very basic setup of this 14-inch M2 Pro, MacBook Pro, Space Gray, yada, yada. All right, thank you so much. We'll see you soon, and goodbye.